Now let's have a look at the program in which uh, we're going to use this C all data is equal to true parameter with add test test annotation, basically an annotation and uh, we'll be able to access some data from the database. Okay, so uh, let's look over here. In this particular code, what I'm trying to do is I have got this method, uh, which is again a test method. Uh, and this test method automatically has access to the uh, data from the database and uh, yeah, see all data, and why? Because we have defined see all data is equals to true at the class level itself, like this, right? So we do not need to do it for every method uh, because it is automatically applied for all of the methods inside this particular test class. And this particular method has got this. So uh, we have created a list of accounts and we have added 50 accounts uh, as test accounts uh, inside this particular list and we are inserting this ACC list, right? Or we are just inserting all of these 50 account records into the database. And uh, after that, what we are doing is we are querying the records uh, like select name from account and uh, we are storing it into ACC list too and then we are just printing the size of this particular list. So what do you think should be the answer of this? Like should it be 50 or should it be 50 plus the uh, records which are already there into the account object inside the database? Okay, so it basically depends on to uh, the annotation of this particular class and the annotation of this particular method. So the annotation right now is C all data is equals to true, which means that you'll be able to access the records which are already there into the database and you'll be able to fetch it uh, from the database while querying it. So it will be 50 plus the, uh, the records which are there onto the account object uh, inside the database of this particular org. So let's just execute it. New run, uh, it's two, three, my method and run. let's see the debug logs. So it got executed successfully. Here are the debug logs. 108. So there must be uh, 58 account records uh, which are already there into the database. That is why uh, the answer is coming as 50, uh, 108. But what if I just delete this parameter thing or uh, remove this C all data is equals to true. Now let's see what will be the output of it. I'll just execute test two three. Here are the logs. Fifty. There you go. So this is how it basically works. Uh, now I'll add it back again because in this code, let's say I just want to access the records which are there into the database already. Here we have got another example in which we have got two different unit tests or two different test methods inside a single uh, test class and let's see how the parameter thing uh, works in here. So over here we have already defined uh, at test test see all data is equals to true of the uh, like to this particular class. That basically means all of its methods will be able to access the records or the data which is already there into the database. Um, okay, so we do not need to uh, specify it again. Uh, instead of this test method keyword, I think I sh I'll be able to. Yeah, I mean, if if I'll be using this at uh, this test method as well, this uh, I mean, without using at is test. Uh, if you have used the keyword test method, uh, then also you'll be able to access the data from the database. So it it doesn't make any difference. But yeah, if I want, I can just change it like this to make it more clear to you. Now, over here I am uh, writing down a query, select ID name from contact where name is equals to test limit one. So with the help of this particular query, we'll be able to fetch the contact record from the database and uh, this all is happening because we have specified this parameter over here. If I'll just remove it, we'll not be able to access this uh, contact record, right? Now, let's say this test method first and test method second, these are two different test methods. For second method, we do not want uh, the data from the database should be uh, accessible or the, the data from the database or the records from the database should not be accessible to test method two or test method second. Uh, so in that case, if we'll write down see all data is equals to false, just like we did it in here, 
it will not work right this will not work you'll have to do it in this way then you'll have to delete it from here you'll have to add it on this one because we want to access the uh, records from the database in the test method first but we do not want to access it over here so we'll just remove it from here and this test method second will now not be able to access the records from the database so this is how the class should be written down if we want some of the methods uh, to have the access to the records of the database and some of the methods should not have the access to the records of the database so this is exactly what i have I'm trying to explain from so long, but I, I hope you got it now. Okay, so let's see what it says. It, it has got the same query and it says, accessing contact from database, although at this test seed all data is equals to false is applied for method, but it will get ignored as test class is having C all data is equals to true already. So like if we'll define it on to a super level, which is basically the class level, right? whatever you are you are writing down onto the method level will not be considered at all but if you want to specify it uh, like any different for even a single uh, method then you you'll have to define it for all of the methods instead of defining it out onto the class level and that that's basically what you need to understand 